In this little slice of paradise, it ain't easy to find trouble. She's practically undressing me with her eyes there. <laughs> there I was, like a moth to the flame. Turns out, I got a little more trouble than I bargained for. Have you ever stolen any money? That's a really bad idea. The big balance is a book by Elmore Leonard. Stand up guy in my book. You know how many actors around Hollywood want to be in an Elmore Leonard piece? You do? Yeah, me too. I decide, get shorty. You go see these, you know they're Elmore Leonard projects. Who is she? One of those unfortunate girls who's turned on by the criminal type. Poor girl. I don't know what you'd be interested in. I mean, I'm one of these poor, unfortunate criminal types. Getting in deep, aren't you? She's nothing but trouble. You're a cute kid, Nancy. If I had to replace you, it'd probably take me most of the day. Let's do something else. Like what? Let's do something that makes the sex better afterwards. How does that turtleneck thing work? Does it keep your head on? Let me go. Go back to the mainland. What, miss the big surf season? You trying to be cute? Now, Junior, who can be cute with you around? In the world of the big bounce, it's no one is quite what they seem, and that everyone has an angle that they're playing. You think I don't know you're up to something? Okay, here we go. Action. Quiet, everybody, here we go. Ready, and action art. Do you know what would have happened if he'd seen this? Yeah, you would have seen his career and reputation. No, 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 no. He would have had to kill us because there's a fine line between taking a risk and acting like an idiot. And cut. One more. The ultimate champ, the ultimate grip, the ultimate rush. <laughs> Get a room. The cheap thrills, you know, the danger. You happy now? We did it. Stole a car. It's sort of in that world that Elmore Leonard creates and like Jackie Brown and a little bit like Get Shorty of characters that are a little beaten down. Let me just explain in simple chapter and verse. I just did a short visit to jail and that's enough to tide me over for a while. He has a strong self-preservation instinct that doesn't cloud, he doesn't cloud his judgment with like kind of loyalty. I'm desperate for this money and, and we're friends, right? Yeah, we're friends. But you know, it's the type of friendship where if you're in trouble, I probably won't be there for you. Jack is working at a construction site, and there's some protesters, because apparently they're destroying some sacred Hawaiian ground. Mr. Ritchie's going to take care of these poles, chop, chop. The construction site is run by Ray Ritchie, who's played by Gary Sinise. Is that him? Yes, sir. They've been arrested before, huh? A few times. He's a businessman who's willing to step on anybody uh, he needs to to get what he wants. Uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna smack one down Frank's throat here. No, you're not. I'm gonna hit one. You put your tool belt back on. This is the first movie I've actually been beaten up in. Threatening me? No, but I'm gonna hit you because you're really big and you look crazy and you're scaring me right now. I'd like the people at home to know this. I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna make a habit of this. I'm gonna hit you. You haven't got a spine. That dislocated the jaw. Walter takes Jack on the wing to all intents and purposes. Is that right? Yeah. But everything Walter does has purpose. Now, for what it's worth, kid, I think you're better off out from under Ray Ritchie. You're not a fan of Ray Ritchie's? I don't like the way he does things. Are you a businessman? Mm, you got a little bit. Resort spa. So I guess Ray's big, ugly hotel wouldn't be so great for your business. I think why Jack and Walter get along is because both of them kind of see through the other one a little bit. Ah, Jack. You got to have a little faith. What's that girl's name? Um, Nancy something. She's Ray's sister, but that's, that's a euphemism. 
Definitely young to be a euphemism, isn't she? Ray Ritchie live around here? You mean does Nancy live around here? My first impression of Sarah is that she's really hot, uh, the girl that she plays, and she's hot in real life also. She's lived in the North Shore her whole life. It's all about the bounce, you know, how much can she really get away with? That's what gets her off. What if I told you there was 200,000 lying around? Would you have the nerve to take it? We're talking about Ray Ritchie's money? Wouldn't that make it a little more fun? 200 grand's a lot different from a TV set. Yeah, it's way lighter. Everybody's kind of a con man in this thing, on some level. You know that guy she's sitting with? Bob Jr.? Yeah, he's Ray Ritchie's flunky. His duties, I I guess, are, are, are of a flunky nature. I think you can handle yes, that. Sir. Huh? Yes, can sir. Handle yes, sir. You useless? Of course not. You know? I got 20 minutes, tops. Talk. He is in love with Richie's mistress, so there is a great conflict there when he's he's asked to protect her, mind her, and he's having a hard time refraining from pursuing his own desires. You taking a shower? No. I'm just glad to see you. I'm juggling Gary Sinise, Charlie Sheen, and Owen Wilson. What is it about the produce section? Ah. Things could be a little worse. You think? And she knows how to use these men to her advantage. Jack, I need you. Okay, I've thought about it. No. Jackie. Oh, come on. Do you think I'm that easy? Uh-huh. Well, maybe I am that easy. You are that easy. Can you ever trust a really beautiful girl? So beautiful. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I would tend to doubt it. <laughs> The book takes place in Detroit, and if they made one change that I'll be forever grateful for, it was the idea to uh, switch it to Hawaii. Psychologically, it's difficult because you're not here to work. I mean, that's what your brain tells you, because every other time you've been here has been on vacation. There's just so much here. Uh, uh, uh. We're just enjoying the sun in Hawaii, really, and then, you know, Every now and then we have to go to work. This movie has gotten in the way of a really decent vacation. And I'm pissed, you know? When they told me who was involved, Owen and, and Morgan Freeman, and, you know, Willie Nelson's in the movie, Harry Dean Stanton, it should be a lot of fun. And action! All right, let's cut the crap. Who's first? And me first. Five. Give me 15. Wait a minute, I got a four. Yeah, uh, this is too good to be true, you know. Fabulous production team, fabulous crew, fabulous cast, fabulous story. It's one of the best feelings on a set that I've ever been around. It's just everyone's very kind of relaxed. It's a fable. <laughs> it's it's not really happening. It's great working with people that you that you like, and they're super talented, you know. And then you got Morgan. Look, Tony. I invited this guy to have a beer, and now we're not done. We might have another one. We might have 10 more. The point is, you said what you came to say. So now, why don't you just leave? There's us, and then there's, there's Morgan. He's been doing a good job. <laughs> it was great to work with Charlie, and I think that our scenes kind of have sort of a funny thing. What the hell are you still doing here? Whoa, 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 Bob. Easy, Bob. Oh, tree branch? I got a tire iron in the truck. Oh! Ow! What'd you do that for? You said you had a tire iron. You bastard. The scene where he and I get into a fight, and it's kind of a funny fight scene that, to me, is more realistic because it kind of quickly dissolves in a wrestling match, and both of us kind of end up losing the fight. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! <laughs> Sarah hadn't acted in a movie before, so this is her first movie. And in many ways, the movie sort of a lot of it rests on her shoulders. So tell me what first attracted you to me. They wanted fresh, they wanted natural, they didn't want fake boobs, they didn't want someone who was so aware of their sexuality. I mean, they wanted it to just be really effortless, you know, and, and I hope I'm doing that. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. She's terrific. 
she's very professional. She's got a lot of raw talent, you know, a lot of instinct. You don't know anything about me, Bob. Look, I'm just a whim to you, a way of getting back at Ray. Hell, I'm guilty of those same whims. I mean, you are a knockout in a slutty kind of way. Hey, Mark. Action. Well, you got me here. Is there something you want to show me? Yeah. <laughs> What's it like kissing over, over, and over again? Well, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I don't want to stop until I'm absolutely sure we've got that right. Do not give up on us. He smells very good. <laughs> that was... I have no complaints there. <laughs> you really are smitten. It's going to be really sad to leave. It's going to be hard. I like, feel very close to everybody. You've got all these great characters, it's just, and these great character actors doing them, so. If this is anything like the script is, it's going to be fantastic. You know it. So I hear. There's sort of a, uh, like, kind of a very black comedy element to it, and uh, hopefully kind of an irreverence to it. Sometimes things are exactly as they appear. It was fun. I had a good time. Me too. Yeah.